grace of understanding. Dearest God, God us all that is, please grant me the grace of understanding when I am in chaos and cannot see the divine plan, your plan. May this grace keep me from harming myself and others when I do not understand. I ask for the grace of understanding in all matters of my life, so I may sense beyond the obvious and the personal. May this grace illuminate the wisdom path, so I can understand the truth of who I am, so I can act on the guidance of the gods without me needing to ask. Thank you. So would it be. Amen. The grace of understanding is a very personal grace. First of all, it's in the solar plexus chakra. It is the sacred grace of the solar plexus chakra, and the solar plexus is all about personal power. It's such a rich and deep grace in the sense that our personal power is totally within our own system of management. It's for us to manage our own personal power. And the path that we have to walk to even learn how to do that really is the hero's journey. So when I say rich, I mean in all of the different colors and hues and shading of the path, of the ups and the downs, the twists, the turns, all to serve us in learning how to empower ourselves. Hence, self-empowerment. The sacred truth of the solar plexus is honor thyself. Honor thyself. In the sacrum, we have honor one another, the one-on-one -on -one relationship. Here, it's about bringing it home. It's about bringing it inside. It's about embracing the path of learning how to honor yourself. What does that mean to honor yourself? Well, interesting, the word self-esteem is directly associated with the solar plexus. We think we understand what that is. We think on some level, we believe on some level, that self-esteem is something you either have or you don't have therefore making it a noun. That's a complete misunderstanding. Grant me the grace of understanding to really get deep in my gut. Self-esteem is a verb. It's something that is perpetual. I'm always estimating myself on a subconscious level. Oh, to begin to make that conscious, help me understand how to make that conscious. So in that way, by honoring ourselves, right? Verb, you honor yourself. You are estimating yourself at ever and ever increasing degrees of doing better and doing better and doing better and doing better. In other words, the slack that you're giving to everybody else through your spiritual practice and process and path is the exact same thing, the exact same action that the grace of understanding helps you give to yourself. You know, another part of honor thyself, interestingly enough, in the solar plexus is the honor code. Our honor code. We could sit down, we could write it out, we could think about it, I will do this, I won't do that, I will honor this, I won't honor that. But honestly, it's already hardwired into the solar plexus. Grant me the grace of understanding to understand moment by moment what my true honor code is. Because that's a dictate from the soul. Total gold that perhaps might be covered in lead here and there. And that's my job, to alchemize that lead into gold so that not only do I honor myself, but that my honor code flows through me without me having to think about it so much that it's automatic, that I come from honor, that really I come from grace. 
And you know, how else do we really know what's going on in our solar plexus moment by moment? I've been telling myself for decades now, if it's in the second chakra, it may be a tug of war with somebody else. But if it's the solar plexus, kid, it's yours. So I've been working on this. I've been teaching the grace curriculum for a long time, talking about these graces every time I do. It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So of course, when preparing to end this with a prayer, I said ahead of time, really, give me a good prayer on this. I know all the different words, but put them together in an order. So this is what I receive that essentially the process, the meditation, the contemplation that we're about to do is about thank you. It's about honoring through those words, thank you, what's going on in the solar plexus through the grace of understanding. So get yourself comfortable. Sit back. Relax. Really, take a minute to get your body physically comfortable. This is self-service. This is self-healing. This is self-care appropriate for the solar plexus chakra grace of understanding. And as you gently let your eyes close, just focus on your breath. <laughs> it's free. It's easy. <laughs> Focus on your breath. And allow that breath to deepen to where you can feel movement in your solar plexus area. But the more you deepen the exhale, gently so, the inhale automatically increases. It is from this place I offer this prayer for the highest good of myself and for the highest good of all concerned. Dearest God, Goddess, all that is, please hover over me. Rise up within me and let the grace of understanding flow through me as never before. Help me absorb this grace in my solar plexus so that it shines like a radiant sun a light, the light of my soul in its total acceptance of who I am, where I am, what I'm doing in any given moment. Grant me the grace of understanding to know that the soul always accepts. The soul always honors where I am on my path, knows everything about where I am on my path and is constantly saying, thank you. And if it's not saying thank you, it's saying, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Honor and acceptance. Thank you. It's okay. And as I breathe into this, my awareness deep in my solar plexus, I allow whatever needs to come up to come up. And my response is simply, thank you. It's okay. And if not that, then it's okay. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. As this grace expands from within, moving throughout my entire energy system, lending this grace to the personal power that assists, attunes, and aligns with every other chakra in my body and energy system, I ask that this grace of understanding now radiate out from me, that I become a field of the grace of understanding, that the wisdom path be illuminated before me and before all who come before me, so that we can understand the truth of who we are, 
souls on journeys of power, of love, of wisdom. And so that we can all act more gracefully on the guidance that the gods pour down upon us like mana. The signs inside and out that even when a knot in the stomach happens, we tense in the solar plexus that we're not understanding ourselves or another. And as we breathe now, we feel a shift, a release, a surrender to our true role and our own personal power, which is to honor thyself, thy indicating the divine, the divine within, the soul of the solar plexus, the solar energy of the internal sun, the S-U-N of God. Thank you, God, goddess, all that is. May we come into deeper understanding of this with every breath. And may we outpicture this truth to all who cross our path. Thank you. So would it be.